Question, what is Taiwan's personal protocol? What up all my Asian Minute peeps? Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. Uh, we really appreciate that. And uh, the winner is uh, basically how I use hydrogen. And so before we actually get into my personal protocol, uh, I want to say, uh, address a few things. First, um, I know that I receive a lot of comments uh, and people ask me questions and I do my best to try to uh, meet everybody, but I do uh, serve people on multiple different platforms. And so um, if I miss your question, uh, please feel free to email me. That is my primary way of communicating with the public. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, you can find my email in the description of the video. Uh, and you can always email me and you will most likely get in contact with me that way. Um, I do try to get to my Asian Minute comments uh, when I can and also the comments on Facebook uh, and other social media platforms. But email is uh, my primary form of communication. So contact me that way if you have a question. All right, so to begin, let's go ahead and get into my personal protocol. All right, so in a general sense, I'm not overly strict about how I go about uh, administering hydrogen to myself, um, but basically uh, I try to consume about 1.5 liters of hydrogen water per day um, from a device that produces uh, hydrogen-rich water at a concentration of about 2.5 to 3 ppm. Uh, so that would otherwise means that um, I'm consuming about 4.5 milligrams of hydrogen per day. Uh, that is a rather decent dose, uh, but I do break this dose up. So I consume it in uh, 500 milliliters in the morning, that's about six, 17 ounces um, in the morning. Uh, and I get about 1.5 milligrams of hydrogen uh, uh, in the morning. And then I drink another 500 milliliters in the afternoon, in the afternoon and then another 500 milliliters in the evening. And uh, so the total will be about 4.5 milligrams of hydrogen and then I breathe hydrogen gas uh, about three times per week. And so right now I'm breathing from uh, a pure H2 system, um, but I also breathe oxyhydrogen uh, as well. And really just has to do with conveniency. Uh, we, or um, conveniency or which systems we have on hand. Uh, we actually share quite a few units uh, with other people that we know. And so sometimes depending on what units that we share, um, with people uh, would limit us to what we get to use at home. But basically, uh, we have a hydrogen inhalation unit in every major room in our house. <laughs> so uh, depends on where I'm breathing. But uh, right now, I'm currently uh, breathing about uh, two hours um, in the evening times from a pure H2 system. And so we'll move into how I use hydrogen when I work out. All right, so uh, with my workout schedule, um, it's pretty much um, similar to what I do on my general days, uh, but what I end up doing is I up my water intake, and uh, and I still do three times a day, um, but I place the hydrogen-rich water um, before my workout and after my workout. So I have a, a pre-workout dose of hydrogen and a post-workout dose of hydrogen. Um, and I normally consume, instead of 17 ounces, I consume 24 ounces uh, before and 24 ounces after. And I normally uh, have it be a really high dose. So um, I normally, either, particularly I use hydrogen tablets. I'll put two tablets in 24 ounces of water. Um, and I'll do that before and I'll do that after my workout. Uh, and it seems to not only help during my workout, but helps with my recovery as well. Um, and uh, let me think, let me see, um, high dose before, after, um, no difference. So yeah, so that's basically it when it comes to my workout. Um, I, I still will, will breathe three times a week um, if I'm training pretty, pretty, pretty regularly. Uh, and, uh, and so that's my workout protocol. I just up the water intake and up the dose. All right, so lastly uh, would be with any particular health challenges. And so uh, this can be uh, during allergy season or dental issues or when I'm starting to feel like I'm getting sick. Uh, this is normally what I do. I will breathe hydrogen gas uh, every day for three hours. Uh, normally it's in the evening time, but sometimes I, I do it in the middle of the day too. Um, and I try to drink really high dose, high concentrated hydrogen rich water uh, three times a day. Uh, and so um, this is normally in my 500 milliliter glass I use. I either use two tablets or there's another product that another product I use every often. 
uh, that also produces a very high concentration of hydrogen rich water in 500 milliliters. Um, and I will do that uh, three times a day. And I'll try to space these out. Um, but the main difference between what my general is and what it is when I'm starting to feel sick is I up the amount of hydrogen inhalation that I do. Um, uh, normally it's about two, two, it's about three times a week. Uh, and when I'm starting to feel something, I breathe every day. So I increase that dose quite a bit. And then, um, lastly, um, if I'm going to be doing with the tablets, I, I normally use two tablets in the 500 milliliters of water. So this is normally what I do, uh, when I have any health challenges. Uh, and so to kind of cap this off, um, there are some other things that I do uh, that are specific um, to certain circumstances and that I don't do often. And so uh, this is normally when like, let's say when I, uh, I've done this, when I've had burn, like I've burned my hand um, and I'll do topical soakings with hydrogen, uh, high, high concentrated hydrogen rich water, I'll soak my hand uh, for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes in high concentrated hydrogen rich water. Um, I've done hydrogen baths. I've created hydrogen saline at home um, and administered hydrogen saline eye drops to my to my eyes. Um, these are just a few of the things. Let me think if there's another one um, that I've done. But oh, um, hydrogen foot baths, I've done that as well. Um, and then uh, I think that's it. That's what I can think of, at least for the for the moment. So this is my protocol that I do and normally the times or how I use it with the three main areas uh, or areas of my life. All right. So my basic goal, if you haven't already noticed, is that I try to get the highest amount of hydrogen I can in the shortest amount of time and spread out throughout the day. Um, not only uh, is this my personal protocol, but I think there's good evidence uh, in the research that this is a good approach to take uh, with hydrogen. And, and then number two is uh this these are not strict protocols um i try my best to hit these ideals but it really depends on the day i mean everybody knows how life is uh sometimes it throws you curveballs and just unexpected and so this is what i attempt to do i'm not always as consistent as as i would like to be but this is my protocol that i that i strive for so uh, i hope that answers the question all right everybody thank you so much for voting on this q a poll we really appreciate you guys doing that it does allow me to be able to serve you in this way and answer these questions and produce these simple uh, to the point videos. Uh, so once again, thank you. Um, please consider becoming a Patreon and supporting at our uh, and supporting us. Uh, you can find all that information in the description. Uh, it does allow us to be able to create these videos and uh, and be able to try to share them with the masses. Uh, and please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I, I think this would be a like an interesting uh, one to share. Obviously, I'm normally talking about data. I'm not normally talking about myself. So yeah, so this would be cool. Share, share with your family and your friends. Uh, and then uh, uh, please considering uh, following us on all of our social media platforms. Uh, we'll be doing another Q&A next month and I'll be uh, here to answer your questions. Doses.